sales influencers, including me, are completely full of shit. There's a saying, I'm sure you've heard of it, it's easier to teach than it is to do. It's easy for me to put a video together teaching salespeople how to effectively close a sale. It's hard for me to actually close a sale. It's easier for me to put a video together on how to effectively open a cold call. It's hard for me to actually make a cold call. Sales influencers, typically on LinkedIn and YouTube, are more focused on likes, comments, engagement on their posts than they are at actually being good in their role, at actually being good at sales. This was me five years ago. It was a facade. I was more focused on the likes and comments I got on my cold call videos that I posted on LinkedIn than actually being good in my SDR role. And that's the case for most influencers. One of the top influencers on YouTube in the sales space claims to have been one of the top performers at one of the largest tech companies in the entire world, Oracle. And he got there within two years of graduating college and decided to quit and go all in on YouTube. Completely full of shit. Trust me, guys, if that person was good at their job and one of the top performers at Oracle, they would not be quitting to go all in on YouTube. They would still be at Oracle closing deals. They probably weren't that good at sales. That's why they had to quit. It's easier to teach than it is to do. And it just frustrates me because this is a problem I see in the sales community. People spewing all these posts on LinkedIn, bragging about their success or on YouTube. It's complete bullshit. Some of the top performers that I know in sales have never once posted a video on YouTube, on LinkedIn, bragging about how great they are, teaching other salespeople how to sell. They're so focused on their job. They're not focused on helping people like me and you out. So what I wanna do with the channel, guys, is kinda over-index the other side, I'll call it the reality of sales, because I get messages, DMs all the time that make it seem like they think I'm a sales guru, I'm a sales expert, when that's not the case whatsoever. I'm an average seller, an average guy from Philadelphia, that has a passion for sales, that in my spare time, I decide to turn a camera on, talk about what I'm doing at work, share some tips that I learned from top salespeople, not me, from top salespeople, to maybe help somebody else out. But I do not wanna be considered a sales influencer. I do not wanna be considered a sales guru. I don't wanna be on YouTube or LinkedIn bragging about my success. I hope that's not how I come across, guys. Because 99% of the sales influencer, the influencers that you see on LinkedIn are completely full of shit. It's a facade. They're more focused on that than actually being good in their roles. And a lot of the times they're just lucky. And we'll talk about that in a future video. So sales influencers on YouTube and LinkedIn, including me, are full of shit. I'm always going to be in a sales role. I'm always going to be an individual contributor. If I decided to quit and go all in on YouTube and make sales content, you should not watch my content. You should not listen to me. I lose all credibility at that point. I need to be in a sales role selling to actually make content. So I'm always going to be an individual contributor, probably at a tech company, selling. And I'm average. And that's the whole point of this YouTube channel. I'm trying to become great. So chances are high that you're probably better than me at sales. So don't think for a second, because I post content on YouTube, that I have it all figured out, that I'm great. I'm not. I'm average. Will I be great? I will. But it's, it, it frustrates me, and I, I'm sure it frustrates some other people out there. The shit that we read on LinkedIn, the videos that get posted on YouTube, when 99% of it is complete bullshit. So hopefully, guys, this video resonated with you. If not, let me know in the comment section below. But I appreciate you watching this rant video. And I want to make sure I'm over-indexing the other side. 
because there's a glorified side that gets posted mostly on LinkedIn that is not true. And I want to make sure that the content I post is the reality of the situation. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it.